Hello, Tom Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today we're gonna be playing with SQL, but it is called SQL. Just so you know, it is SQL, not SQL. <laughs> That's just how it's spelled. Uh, it's a database thing. We're gonna be using this one, which is DBeaver. Um, I'll have the description in, or sorry, the link in the description, or you can just Google DBeaver. Uh, it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. You're just going to download the Windows installer here, at least for me I am, and I think it's 121 megabytes. Uh, you'll get the install, it's a basic install, you just run through all this, agree, install just for my account, you know, what do you want to include, where do you want it, all that stuff. In the long run it's 156 megabytes, so it's not bad at all. Uh, the first time you run it, it's going to ask if you want to download a sample database. Uh, it's a great way to test it. It comes with a lot of different ways to play around. Um, so we're going to use tables. Uh, we're going to uh, check out like the employee. You just double click it. It's going to open it. Here's all of the stuff that's being stored. So you got your columns here. You got employee ID, last name, first name, title, reports to, birthday, a whole bunch of other information. Um, but we don't really care. We're just going to play with the first few uh, columns here for the most part. Um, so you can see right here it's there, but we need to actually open our uh, script. Um, so we're going to open new uh, SQL script, and it's going to launch here. Uh, the text, um, if you want to zoom in and out, you can just hold control minus sign. This is actually right about the default is there, but for the sake of the video, I want to make it big enough for you guys to see it a little better. So I'm using control plus uh, to zoom in there. And so yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, write some basic intro stuff. So we can start with doing like select. So we can do uh, select and uh, a lot of stuff kind of start popping up here to help you out. Uh, we're going to do an asterisk. That's kind of a wild card. It means I'm not being too picky with the information from employee, like I said. That's where we want to pull that data from. So select wild card from employee. That's basically saying pull everything. Over here on the left side of your script, you're going to see uh, the execute, or you can push control enter, and that's going to run, and it's going to show our results down here at the bottom. So as you see, the wildcard basically pulled all of the data. So we're seeing exactly what we saw back here under the employee table. Uh, it's all being produced. Now you can do the coding here like this in one line, uh, but to keep it a little bit more organized, it's better to kind of um, like you would in normal coding, you know, indenting uh, into sections like this. We run it, exact same information we're going to get there. Um, so now what we can do is we still want to pull from the employee uh, database um, table, but we want to get only specific information. So we can do last name, and then let's also pull first name. So we're just going to put a... Uh, separator there, comma. We're going to go ahead and execute that again. And as you see, now we're only seeing the last name and the first name. We're not seeing all that other junk that maybe we don't really care about. Uh, we can really kind of uh, limit it. Now we can also customize like certain things. So we can write a last name as just last. Uh, this is to customize our view if we want. Um, so we can click that. And as you saw right there, uh, last name has just been turned into the category of last. Um, so you can do that if you want. Um, another thing we can do also is, let's just go back here. We're going to put this back as our wild card here. Um, and then from employee, we can get a little bit more specific. So we can say where reports to, and then we can say like equals six. So if we go back here, we can see uh, the reports too. So that's what we're calling up on. And we're looking for employees who uh, report to number six, which is, I guess, the IT manager here. So we're seeing who all reports to this manager specifically. Maybe we want to see who that team is, that kind of thing. We can go ahead and boom, there we go. There are two employees. Let's go back to our table. Confirm that there are two employees. Uh, it's Robert and Laura. And that's indeed who is being showed here. So that's really cool that we can do that. Um, another thing we can do is we can do like where uh, title. 
equals. Now right here we used a number, but let's use a string instead. So what we need to do is we need to put in uh, quotes, which if you push one quote, it's automatically going to put the second one in there, which is really nice. Um, we're going to say IT staff. We're going to go ahead and push uh, run. And once again, there we go. It's reporting. It's uh, looking into title, IT staff. So that way, if we don't know exactly what number they're reporting to, we can at least look up their title. So we're looking for all our IT staff there. Obviously, we can add more so we can get the manager, uh, but we're just looking for that. Um, another cool thing we can do here is we're going to keep our select wildcard from employee where title. We're going to delete that, and we're going to say like. So like gives us a little bit more flexibility. We're going to use a string once again. Quotes don't really matter, but we're going to use a percent sign. And what this does is, so with the last one, we were looking up IT staff. Here, we want to kind of say IT. And we'll put a uh, percent sign at the end there. That's going to sit there and find anybody who their title begins with staff. If we put it here instead, it's going to look for people who their title ends with IT. So we can push that and obviously that's not going to return any results. But if we want to get really flexible, we can put the percent sign at the beginning and at the end. And that's going to find both titles that are starting with IT or ending with IT. So we could always put in like um, staff here. Oops, spell that correctly. There we go. There we go. We got that. Uh, but the wild card is just going to find everybody if we're doing it all right, now we can even take it a step farther and say we want to find um, employees who are, it, it, we're searching like two different categories. So we can do like where reports to equals six. So we're still looking for that. And then we can just say and. And is basically saying we're doing multiple searches. Uh, we're really limiting our data here. So higher date. Um, we can say like, uh, put in quotations, we'll do 2000, 2004, and we'll put that uh, percent sign because we don't care about the month or the year, we just kind of want to look for that. And we're now only returning one employee. So this employee, uh, basically we're saying, you know, who's in the IT department or who's reporting to the IT manager. And then over here we're saying anybody who started uh, 2004. Doesn't matter the month or the uh, day. As long as they're in the year 2004, we're good. So that's saying Robert. Let's go back here. Uh, Robert, uh, hired date is 2004. We can see here Laura was uh, starting in 2005. So it's not going to bring her information up because we're only looking for employees in the year 2004. All right. Now, another thing we can do is, once again, we're just going to keep this wild card here. We're going to say from employee, where title, uh, like, oops, sorry, title, like, uh, we're going to keep it into the IT department. And then we're going to say order. So we're going to do it by order, by, and we can choose which category. So we'll order it by last name. Uh, we'll go ahead and run that. Oh, we missed something here. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. I was searching for the ending of IT, but we want to look at both. Um, so here you can see now um, it is ordering it by last name, so it's alphabetized. So before Robert always came first, now he's coming second because his last name starts with a K. Uh, Laura starts with a C, and then we obviously were searching for anybody in IT, so it's also pulling the manager uh, who has an M, so they're showing up last. So we can also order it by different columns. Even though we're catching um, the search by title, we want to organize by last name or whatever you want to do. So now that we know like the basics of like kind of searching around and whatnot, let's try looking um, a little bit into just managing it. So we can go back here, we're going to delete the whole thing, and we're actually going to type delete. So delete from employee. 
So we're going to delete from the employee uh, table. We're going to um, let's do last name equals uh, Bob. I don't think we have anybody named Bob, do we? Nobody named Bob. That's fine. Uh, but we can just do that way. Um, and then we do need, because we're doing something like this, we do need to put the semicolon so it knows that this is one line of code. Uh, right here, obviously, it's one line, but if we were to spread this out like I showed you before, we'd be fine. And then we would just run that. Now, obviously, it's going to throw an error because, well, there's nobody named Bob. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and add an employee named Bob. So let's say update employee. Uh, we're going to set, we're going to do the last name. So here you would need to put like all the required fields uh, in, but we're just going to keep it simple. Uh, it's going to equal Bob who we were trying to delete, but we don't have that, so that's fine. Um, where, you know what, let's say, um, what was it, King? Let's say King is on the run from the FBI and has gone into witness protection. So we need to update his info from last name. Uh, we're going to set it to Bob, where anybody who has the name employee, obviously we can throw some ands in there to get a little bit more specific. We can go ahead. Uh, let's go back to our table here. Um, so there's that, but we do need to refresh it. Hold on. Does that run? Where equals king. All right, let's refresh. No, it's not refreshing. So refresh is at the bottom here. Um, sometimes it's a little slow. Okay, I'm not sure why that one's not working. Let's take a look here. Oh, you know why? We need to put our semicolon in there. That should have done it. Nope. Uh, let's see. Alright, there we go. I changed the uh, formatting a little bit there. Um, keep it a little more organized. Um, update employee, set last name equals Bob, where last name equals King. Make sure we have our semicolon. We're going to hit push play. Now let's see if it's working. There we go. So now Robert is no longer King. His last name is Bob. FBI hopefully won't find him. Um, but we can do that last thing I was talking about where we can delete the employee uh, permanently. You know, he's mafia found him. They want him no longer here so we're gonna go ahead and update him go in here push refresh and as you see he just everything about him just disappeared never existed he's no longer with us um, so we're gonna replace him with a new employee we're gonna do insert into our table name which is employee uh, and then we're going to in parentheses, which auto-fills the second one there, where we're going to put in first name, and we're going to put last name. Let's pretend we don't have his, the other information of this employee just yet, but we at least want to put him in the system to get him going. So what are those values going to e equal? Um, we need to keep it the same in the order that we have up there. Uh, we want to put each name in quotations, so we'll name the first name is going to be, or yep, first name is going to be tab. Second name, separate it by a colon. Uh, nation, that's going to be the last name. And we do need to make sure that is also in quotations. And that should look pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and push play. And refresh. Oh no. Let's see what we're missing here. Uh, as always, we're missing that semicolon. So we go back here. We're going to refresh and there we go 
Now where you have uh, the employee with at least their first and last name, obviously you would need to do all that, or it's just going to show null. That's fine. Um, all right. Um, and then we can just, you know, delete that name too if we want it. Um, you know, before when we were deleting, uh, that was really kind of looking uh, specifically for one employee. Uh, obviously, we could have multiple employees uh, with the same last name. So what we can do is uh, delete from employee uh, where first name equals, put it in quotations because it is a string, tab, and because we also want to make sure we're not deleting all the people with the same last name, we're going to do uh, nation, and that should be good don't forget our semicolon because I always do that and we're gonna go ahead and push uh, play on that to run that script go back here refresh once again that did not work let's see why uh, first name equals tab it is usually case sensitive there we go tab and nation Let's see here. Let me copy something over from another window here and see. Delete from blah, 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 last name, nation, run, employee, refresh. So I'm not sure why that one's not working. That's correct. Let's run that. Okay, that one's weird. Not sure why it's doing that. That is correct syntax, it looks like. It is case sensitive, usually. Sometimes there's a bit of a lag. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so there is a lag sometimes for some odd reason. I don't know if it's specific to dBeaver, um, but for some reason it just took a while to delete that. So we did have the correct, it just took a second. Um, another thing we can do um, is we can do select count. Uh, we'll do first name. It's already closed. Uh, we're going to, once again, still look at our same table, employee. Uh, and we're going to say where title, I mean, there we go. Just looks better. Like, we're going to use that uh, string there. Uh, we're going to do sales. So let's see how many people are in the sales department. It doesn't matter if you're a manager or what. So we're just going to put that uh, percent sign. So anybody who has the title beginning with uh, sales, uh, we're going to find out. And uh, yeah, that there. Um, so there's four. So it's telling me that there are four employees. Uh, in the department of sales so we can go here and we can see there is the sales manager so one two three and four so that's another way too if you want to see like department size and what not all right so this is a very basic rundown of sql if you guys want to see more if this video gets uh let's say 50 upvotes uh likes i'll definitely dive in deeper uh, we'll talk a little bit more about maybe these different categories more in depth versus a broad kind of intro. Let me know what you guys also want to see. Uh, eventually we can move into more advanced stuff and hope you guys like this. Hit the subscribe button because I'm throwing out automation videos all the time for you all. Usually not of hotkeys, but I do like to expand out from time to time. And hopefully this was a pretty good one. If you guys know other good free open source um, stuff like this definitely let me know in the comments below this is just kind of one of the ones I've used in the past and really liked but I haven't really explored too deep into it uh, so let me know all right everybody thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one bye